Hi guys, it's Adorably Nerdy, and Steven's Diamond Apes promo got me thinking. Do the gems really get to choose who they are? Do they have free will, or are they slaves to a higher design? What I mean by that is, do the gems that rebel break not only their original world and homeworld, but the tropes and characteristics that the other gems of their class fall into? Let's start this discussion with my favorite gems, the pearls! The first thought I have about the pearls is that they are the most flexible gem class, besides the diamonds themselves, but I believe this is intentionally designed, as they are the shadows of the diamonds. Perfect servants made to fit any role that their master requires of them. But the overarching traits of the pearls seem to be that they are naturally talented artists, fiercely loyal, and have an overwhelming desire to please their master. Now let's look at the terrifying renegade pearl we all know and love. Our pearl is portrayed throughout the show as the exact opposite of a homeworld pearl. A runaway, no master, a fighter, driven by our own drive, not the will of others. However, we know that's not true. Pearl's master was Rose Quartz, a.k.a. Pink Diamond. She learned to fight because Pink wanted to stop the other diamonds from colonizing the planet. She did this for Pink, not herself. She did it to serve her diamond better. She kept Pink's gem in Steven, not for herself, for she missed Pink terribly, but because Pink wanted to stay there and be a human. She was a perfect servant, doing everything that her master needed of her. Honestly, there could not have been a more perfect pearl by Homeworld's own standards. She's free in name, however, to this day, she is still Pink's servant. Now, let's look at another of the crystal gems. Amethyst, to see if it applies to her as well. Of all the crystal gems, Amethyst should be the most individual, because she was never exposed directly to Homeworld's culture, besides the free crystal gems. Living her life entirely on Earth, but she's not that at all. Homeworld Amethysts, in general, seem to have tropes they fall into as well. First, they are playful, especially with other court soldiers. They give off a group mentality with the other Amethyst. The Famethyst. And they are impulsive, jumping in before they think, like portraying Blue Diamond and Holly Blue Agate for the Crystal Gems. Now, if we look at our Amethyst, I would say she safely falls into all of these categories. Our Amethyst is the playful big sister to Stephen, always messing around, goofing off. She instantly has a connection with the other Amethyst, having a lost family sort of feel in her first interaction with them. And we know she is impulsive. She tried to fight Jasper by herself, rather than waiting for Steven for backup. She's a court soldier, even though she's a little small. She is still a stereotypical court soldier, by what we have seen of other homeworld amethysts. Now let's move on to our most powerful gem, Pink Diamond and her alter ego, Rose Quartz. The persona of Rose Quartz was made to be an equal to the other gems around her. However, she was not truly their equal, not to any of them, despite her original intent. She instantly became the leader of the Rebel Gems, idolized to the point of becoming a fable among them, much like the Diamond Authority is on Homeworld. The Rebel Gems almost instantly trusted her and followed her wishes the same way gems of another diamond's court would. Her will was executed, as all other diamonds' wills are, by the gems that serve under her, Pink, despite being, in my opinion, an off-color, and being a disguise, did all the things a normal diamond would. Lead an army, have a pearl, boss of the gems around, shape the world to her wishes. Pink, just like the other crystal gems, doesn't appear to have any true control over her role as a person or how she is perceived by a group. The only gems that seem to have any individuality from their inherent roles are fusions like Garnet, Sugalite, Smoky Quartz, for their alchemations of the gems that fuse them together. Off colors like Pink Diamond, Parasachas, and the Rugalite twins seem to have some, but in a more diminished way than the fusion counterparts. For they're still gems of their class, just with abnormalities, some physical like size and others mental like seeing into the past. But besides these few exceptions, the gem tropes remain. Sadly, from everything I've seen in the show, a pearl's a pearl, a ruby's a ruby, a diamond's a diamond. Their free will is a lie. They behave more like software, just on different platforms with different set dressing. And individuality only comes when their platform is either corrupted by birth 
or another software is introduced into their system. As Yellow Diamond would say, a sapphire has a use, she can tell you what it's for, and Agate terrifies a lapis terror forms. But hey, what do you think? Do they have individuality? Can they escape their gym class tropes? Can a pearl do what a diamond does? Or do you think a pearl is a pearl in the end of the day? No matter what you're thinking, tell me in the comments down below. I would love to hear other opinions on this. Anyway, until next time, keep it nerdy, y'all. I'm just a no to make you smile.